Guam Memorial Hospital Administrator Lillian Paris Posadas told senators she's retiring in this heated exchange during a legislative oversight hearing last month. Lillian, this is, you've been there for five years and it's only getting worse. Isn't there a time for you to say, okay, I can't do it, I need to step down from, from this job and allow somebody else to come in to try and help this but hospital? You know, Senator, thank you for that idea. Yes, I will step down. Yes, I will retire. I've done my time. Thank you. But a week later, she sent a letter to the governor saying she's staying on board. I officially notified the governor a week later that my decision, governor, after really praying on it and the uh, overwhelming uh, support and encouragement not to resign or not to retire, I made my decision that I will stay on. The oversight hearing was about the hospital's dire financial condition and structural and maintenance concerns. It's not so much that they were grilling me or attacking me because, it, you know, it's not about me. The hospital is about the workers that give their heart and soul to continue providing the care despite the limited resources. Since then, senators and the governor have separately committed a total bailout of $50 million for overdue vendor payments and critical facility repairs. Posada is hoping it's not a band-aid fix. So you can see that we're just not getting not even 80 percent or 75 percent reimbursement from, from the payers. Do you feel like the $50 million bailout is more of a, a band-aid then? Well, hopefully not. We're looking at it to be not a band-aid, but to at least give us some stability because we do need to, we have vendors that need to be paid. It's a stability the hospital is looking forward to with the Governor's Fiscal Review Committee, which will oversee how the Pledge American Rescue Plan monies will be used. She says the committee, which was established last week, has yet to meet. We haven't really made uh, Ed Byrne, uh, according to the governor, is the uh, person that would take the lead and call the meeting. And I, in fact, I texted him yesterday to let me know when he wants to call the meeting together and if he needs any help for us to then come together. For now, the public can hear more about the state of the hospital in a GMHA Board of Trustees meeting Wednesday at 5 p.m. One thing to look out for, how the hospital is addressing a national nursing shortage. That's been a part of a, uh, you know, an issue of concern because of the cost. And so we continue to rely on the, uh, you know, the uh, use, utilization of these travel nurses to come and help us because of our perennial nursing shortage. You can find the Zoom meeting information on KUAM.com. Mitsuki Hariyama, KUAM News.